Alright guys, so this next part, since we've done all the white, um, is for the knee pads to uh, draw in the uh, grid design on the um, on the knee pads and also for here on the banner. Um, this is going to be my third tactical squad, um, or the squad number three. And so I'll be going off my rhino markings I have for squad three. Um, and they have uh, three swords, um, two in the X faction and one going down the middle. And then a check design going down the uh, the exact middle of uh, the the banner or the the design itself. And um, so for all my squads, I'm just gonna be mimicking the uh, where the um, checker pattern is uh, on the banners for the um, for the sergeants. And so I'll have the checker pattern here, and um, then there'll be bleach bone on both sides. And uh, I'll uh, I'll depict the bleach bone later. But that'll be, uh, that'll be for a little bit later. Um, but uh, so I'll um, show you what I'll do for that. Uh, I'll have to restart and stop this video because I have to be um, I have to go somewhere real quickly. But um, besides the point, I'm gonna use the Micron pen. Um, get this guy out of the way. I'll be using the Micron 01 um, American or not American uh, archival uh, ink. Uh, and um, it's the Sakura. Secure color, um, and so this is again the O1, and uh, it has a really really fine tip. Uh, if you just compare this real quickly to um, my red one I have, the Micron O5, um, it's actually thicker, um, so you can kind of tell the difference there in the middle of the screen. So you can tell the difference, and um, you have to kind of get these markers going or these pens going uh, before they actually start drawing on the um, banner itself or on wherever you want it to be uh, for script work and stuff. And if I throw this guy back on, um, that's how I did uh, these this checker pattern. And um, also I did some other things uh, for my company master and such. And so it's a really easy thing to do. Um, I just use the pens because it's easier to for me to draw when I'm actually going to be painting instead of just strictly painting. Um, so I get my nice lines and stuff. Uh, before I put any paint down on, on the, the model or over the model as this is and um, so after we do that um, I'm going to jump into highlighting uh, the the chest eagles which be with beach I'm sorry bleach bone and um, or the pale sand from Vallejo uh, model color and uh, then um, I'll be back so um, we only have a few more things to do um, just some golds and some other stuff um, some more washes but um, that's uh, these guys are pretty much wrapping up. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial so far. Uh, hopefully this won't be very long. And um, before I ramble on very much longer, I'll get into it. All right, guys. So for um, the design on the banner, and also on the uh, the kneecaps of the uh, the tactical marines, you can tell that I drew on the uh, the checkered design. And I simply put a line in between uh, the white part, um, the, the white part that's in between uh, the kneecap, and then I just two, uh, drew two lines and then colored in the uh, checker pattern. And so um, I did that on all the Marines that had knee pads. Um, same with this here. And so uh, what I'll be doing is just drawing a straight line, finding about the middle. And you can all see that. I hope it's not all being whited out. But um, showing straight line as best you can all the way. Just like that. And if you have your pen, go to the contour of the. Um, the banner that's okay too. Um, sometimes the banner could be turned or bent and uh, the line won't look straight. So if you manipulate the line a little bit it'll, it'll work out a little bit better. And then um, you just draw in your horizontal lines or your um, vertical lines. And uh, so you want to have it, for me I'm having it being front and back. And so I'm just taking this part and drawing it over. So now it's right there on the edge. 
and sneak it over and then this part's a bit easier because you have a middle point and so it's how it be drawn over middle of there. So now it's nicely in the middle. And it's okay if the line doesn't look too good because you're just going to paint over this since it's a bigger surface area. And then again have it a nice line. So over here it's a good area just to start or practice with the uh, uh, vertical lines. And for that you just pick the middle, let's say, of, of this area here. So the middle is about there. And then you simply just draw straight up. And voila. So that's a checker. Or so you have, so now you have the four squares. So one, two, three, four. And then you would color this part in and that part in for the black or vice versa. It doesn't really matter um, at that point. So area and just draw so I like to use a pen simply because you can just keep drawing a line you don't have to dip your pen, your paintbrush back in and uh, find an area to, um, for that and so let's see here let's do it sometimes I pick points on like the model itself I say for the knee pads yeah, you can see that there's this extended area of the white, and that's like the little area that's not perfectly formed to the pad itself, um, so that like, sticks up a little bit. I use that, and I use that as my horizontal line, uh, and then I draw my line from there. So for this, I'm just going to pick an area right there. Make sure it looks about even. And two lines should do. I'll make more. That looks good. And then you just put lines between that. There we go. Then to have it match here, do the same. Line in between. One, two, three, one, two, three, that should be okay. Um, so for here it's going to look a little weird, so I'm just going to put a line there as well. Simply for the fact that um, I'll put it here. You guys can see that. They have the curvature of the, the banner. And so that's really it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six ish. And then in this area you have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's more there's more squares on this side, on the back than is the front. But um from when you really look at it you really won't be able to tell too much. And um these corner squares here kind of count twice um, but that's really it uh, that's all I do and so I'm going to mark um, where I have black just by making little dashed lines and then I'll paint those in of course that's every other one um, so it's this one so that, um, and then I'm going to start over the design here um, so that way it flows. So this part is going to be black. And here. And then start it over again. And then this part. Which is kind of cool because this is white. And that's black and that's white and then that'll be black so it, it repeats the checker pattern all the way over so that works and uh, so I'll get this painted and I'll get the rest of the banner painted and I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like alright guys uh, so this is 
the banner after I painted it. Um, so I painted the checkers like I said before, and then I painted the whole thing beach bone on both sides, uh, so it matches the rhino tank once that's going to be painted. And uh, so that's what it looks like. And then I put a, uh, a wash in all the recesses up top. And this was kind of an experiment for me, uh, but it's pretty much just like shading. I uh, put the wash in the recesses and then kind of paint around it a little bit. So I think that worked out. I think it worked okay. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And now uh, we're going to move on to all of the gold areas. Uh, so on this guy, he on the sergeant, uh, he has that little emblem right there. I'm going to paint gold. And then on the model uh, that we're doing for the tutorial, uh, we're going to be doing all the um, the gun crests. So there, um, all of those things. And then if they haven't uh, had a, their skull and their head painted, that's going to be gold. Um, and uh, just all the little vents and stuff like that. Uh, and all like the top pieces, these are all going to be gold. And like this, this will be gold. Um, and so yeah, uh, I'll start that guy off. And what I usually do um, is just do uh, let's see here, Reapers Master Series Antique Gold, and then I'll just do a flat wash of uh, Devlin Mud. And usually I kind of kick that on there. So uh, you'll see once I'm painting all these guys. But uh, I'm gonna start that off, and uh, then we'll go from there.